to show to quickly show you a video how to change your VMT settings. You're going to need two softwares for that, which is for the authoring tools located in the tool tab of your Steam client. Once you have that, you need VDF Edit and GCFSK. Those will be linked into the description. All right. Uh, so to start off, what you really need to do is first download the mod from the workshop. Once you have that, you go in the workshop file. It should be located in here. Once you have it, what you got to do is pretty simple. You open the VPK. You extract the root folder. Once you have that, you open it up. Go fetch the settings. It doesn't really matter which one you take. They all share the same settings. You open that up and you make sure that this remains the same as it is. All that you need to do is to take this information and copy past it. As in, for an example, this mod right there has it, its own settings. Let's see. Mmm, VMT. Oh, those look quite different. But you kind of get the idea. You can see here he has a base texture and a bump map. You don't want to touch that. All that you want to do is to take this out right there, copy past it here, and then all you do is click save. Once that this is done, you can close everything and rename this to whatever you want, your Hertz content want. Basically, the name of your mod. Once you did that, you want to go back to your Left 4 Dead folder and go and bind. And bind, you want to find VPK located here. I highly recommend that you make a shortcut so you don't have to mess all with your files. Pass it here. Once you're done with that, you drag it over and you should get your VPK file right here with all the settings set. After that, you take it back and you drag and drop here and everything should be fine and running as intended. Gotta make sure that you don't have two of those mods set together. Make sure to remove the last mod that you had so that they don't conflict together. Or unsubscribe. Unsubscribe for the mods that you um, don't use so you don't want them to conflict. That was pretty much it. Don't, don't forget, these softwares are located in the description.